What is good everybody, today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition action figure review on the Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition Batista figure. Now this is a re-release Greatest Hits version of the original Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Batista figure that sold like hotcakes. It was one of my favorite Ultimates of that year. It's one of my favorite Ultimates that WWE and Mattel have ever done. We're gonna of course get into the comparison shot, but one thing that makes this figure very unique is that it's unlike other Greatest Hits. You know, most of the time when they do Greatest Hits, it's just a straight re-release, man. They're not giving you any sort of different deco. They're not giving you shish. So throwing it back to when this figure was announced, I was like, what the hell, man? That Batista came out yesterday. Why are we re-releasing it? Fast forward a little bit, Ringside Collectibles puts it up for pre-order, and they put the same figure in an image. It wasn't the figure, but it was a shot of the previous attire. Fast forward to WrestleMania 40 in person, and I get around to the damn booth, and the Ultimate Edition Tista's looking back at me in blue trunks. I was like, who the hell is that? And he said, I'm Greatest Hits Batista, Brad. And then I got escorted out because I was clinically insane. But this figure looks pretty damn good as one of my favorite Ultimate Editions beforehand. I am I'm thrilled about this figure. I think it looks beautiful. It's a very unique attire, which we're going to get into, but we're going to break down all the lore here, man. If you guys want to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% in this greatest hits wave. We do have Batista's Ultimate, and we have the Rock Amazon Exclusive Ultimate with some different bells and whistles going on there. If you want to see a review of that figure, let me know down in the comments section below. But here we are talking about the Batista, and we do have our front viewing window here, which looks good. Got all the accessories going around. I don't think anything is different about the accessories. It looks to be the exact same, which we'll dive into, but you do have the, the nice looking guy on the side right there, handsome fella, and you got the handsome fella in the back, which is unique. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same image they used on his last Ultimate Edition figure, but it does say Greatest Hits right there. That's new. They got Greatest Hits there. Got some different lore and things going on. Of course, his name on the side over there, but that is pretty much our packaging for our Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits Batista. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, and see if he is indeed worth the pickup. So here we have the animal unleashed from his packaging, man, and holy shish. I mean, I was a huge Batista kid, man. Like, I talk about John Cena being my favorite of all time, and I talk about John Cena all the time, but man, Batista, I used to adore Batista. Actually, uh, Batista is like ascension to superstardom. That is one of my favorite wrestling storylines of all time, from the from the bounty to evolution to his meteoric rise to this decision right here, what the original Ultimate Edition is based off of, kind of, not, not totally, because he was in a suit, right? That's actually a dream figure of mine. If they were to do that decision, I think that would be an amazing defining moment is Batista in suit. I know we've already got the contracts and stuff, but break, give him a breakaway table and then give him, you know, the contracts with like all the different stuff going on, man. Oh God, what a beautiful figure that would be. But I need to make that a custom. But essentially his, his you know, his decision where he turned on Triple H and puts him through the table. Holy crap. That is like evolution, just evolution in general and their entire history really is one of my favorite times in wrestling. I I know you could talk about, you know, the Reign of Terror with Triple H. And I know I'm getting off on a tangent here. I just want to describe it a little bit. You talk about the Reign of Terror with Triple H. That's what made his downfall so beautiful. And that's, I don't know, man. I just love Batista. And I love, you know, this what this figure represents so far. And this is an amazing repaint so far. But let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into the accessories. And then we'll get into the Batista figure itself. So getting into the accessories you get with Batista. You get three really good interchangeable heads. We get a championship. We get a cloth goods. And we get some bonus stuff. So really hits the nail on the head in terms of accessories. And this right here. All these head sculpts are money, and I think that one thing that's weird is this head sculpt actually looks a little bit different, and you may think that I'm insane, but just bear with me here, or maybe it's just mine, but this is that Ultimate Edition head sculpt, and look, they are slightly different, but they still maintain that Batista look. They still look identical to Batista. Like, this looks just like Batista, but so does this. It's as if the eyes are painted a little bit differently, but I like them both in their own way. Is that kind of weird? I don't know. And this looks like it has some, some lip coloring, but this one, I don't know. Am I crazy? It's kind of a new head sculpt in, in in certain ways. It's just repainted a little differently, which is wild, but it, it absolutely is a little different. Now, this definitely looks like a Dave Batista smirk. This looks money right here. You know, this is when he's giving him the damn thumbs up. And then he just does this right here. One of the best damn wrestling moments in, in history, man. Then you throw in Randy Orton and the Hand me that belt, damn it. I said hand me that belt, damn it! All of that is just money for me, man. That is my childhood. That is epic. 
And then we have the screaming expression, which just looks amazing. I love the screaming expression, Batista. I mean, that looks like he just, you know, he's coming out to saliva. He's about to dunk on your family. You know, he did that back in the day. He was dunking on everyone's family. I just read the back of the packaging, and it says, He defeated Triple H at WrestleMania 21 for the World Heavyweight Championship, ending the game's long reign of terror. What a time to be alive. Beat the hell out of him. I'm talking about beat the piss out of him. And you take it, and you beat the piss out of him. I'm talking about beat the piss out of him. Let's go whip their ass. Now, we also get the Cloth Goods Animal shirt here, which I have a lot of these because I shish you not, I bought like 12 of them damn white Legends Target exclusive Batistas. So now adding this one to the collection is going to be even more satisfying. I love it. But the Animal T-shirt looks really good. I want to say I own this as a kid, but I could be wrong. We also get the coveted Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship. I'd really like to see them redo this championship. We've had this mold for, I want to say a decade now. It's been over a decade, actually, that we've seen this mold for Mattel. I think it's time for a new one. Make some different versions of this, thin out the plate, make the gold more realistic. Pour into those things, man. I think the figures are getting to a point where we need to improve accessories now. What you think? And then we also get two identical contracts, but they do have the Raw logo on the back and the SmackDown logo on the back. And I'll say these are the two best logos for each brand in history. The Ruthless Aggression logos are the best. They also have the best stage designs. Fight me down in the comment section below, man. Also, mine has a bunch of schmutz on it. I don't know what's going on right there, but these are great. I'm glad they, they included these. A really nice accessory, I think. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get Mike Holder or weapon wielding hands. You do get the new improved hands wide out mold. It's like they heard that Ricochet Kawhi Leonard thing so much about how big the hands were about the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard. And they said, dude, we gotta fix these damn hands. And sure enough, these are a new hand mold. They're much more realistic, way better size, but they are considered the new improved Kawhi Leonard Ricochet hand mold. So uh, they're never escaping it. Then he also comes with the thumbs up, thumbs down hands, which look pretty damn good. We saw this the first go around. And last but not least, he comes with fisted hands to of course beat the hell out of people. I'm talking about beat the piss out of them. So getting into Batista himself starting out at the head sculpt, one thing I want to touch on real quick is if you push this head all the way down, I feel like it sits too low on his body. You see he's got like no neck, but then if you kind of remove it a little bit and you kind of, you know, you want to get it sitting a little higher. Let me see if you remove it all the way and then kind of plop it on there and don't push down all the way. It looks a lot better, but it will kind of be, it'll move on you. It'll turn into kind of a bobblehead, which isn't the biggest deal of all time, but it's certainly worth noting. But if you push that thing all the way on, it is too small. So that's definitely something I want to touch on but outside of that this is the only torso or the only guy really i mean there's probably four people max i think bobby lashley could pull this off i think maybe drew mcintyre might could pull this off i think even ultimate warrior probably and batista and even for cena i don't really like this torso i just think it looks awful but for batista i will let it slide even though i still hate this torso he's got his b belly button tattoo which was just peak mid 2000s early 2000s but he has his tattoos on his arms here way before all the rest of his tats but he did have the big back tattoo which which looks pretty good here. Then on the back, we do have the Batista in the silver, blue, and black that looks so damn good. It's the exact same graphics we saw on his first go-around, which we will do a comparison shot. And it is the exact same trunks as the first go-around. It's just repainted differently, so you can see there. You can kind of make your choice. I, I really, I like the blue better in terms of attire. Now, which one do I remember more for Batista? Definitely the white and red, but I still think this blue gear, the blue gear I remember fondly too. It's just when I think of Batista, I think of that, you know, red, black, white, gold. That's what I kind of remember for Batista, more of a red colorway, but the blue is certainly clean. I love the color of it. It looks really good in person. He does have these giant knee pads on there, which I despise, but what are you going to do? He did wear those. I just hate them. And then we do have the signature Batista strap boots, but they have the silver in there, which I would have loved to seen Vengeance 05 in the all white, you know, with the animal on the front, and there's so many different attires for Batista I want to see in figure form from Mattel. Hopefully, we'll get those. I'm going to make those requests, make those known at San Diego Comic-Con. I've made a few requests. I do put in requests from time to time, and I, you know, I try to hammer those home, especially for us Ruthless Aggression collectors, but in terms of articulation, he can do pretty much everything you want him to. Again, I have pulled the head off a little bit, so it won't be so down on there. I've shoved it on there, but the ab crunch is not very good. The diaphragm feels very tight compared to his last Ultimate Edition and the waist. I feel like he is a lot more tight-knit, but, you know, the shoulders can go up and down. His shoulders can also pop out. If you want to do that, you know, make some weird fix-up customer, do something, you can make that happen, but butterfly joints are fantastic. He can move all the way back and forth there. You do get the drop-down hips with this one, which allows for a very good kick forward for the toe kick and the Batista bomb, which is nice. Always be careful when you're putting that back in position, though. Upper thigh cut, double-jointed knee, boot swivel, ankle rocker, toe articulation. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is a solid figure, man. It feels really good in the hand, and it's a, it's a good one. I like the first go-around. I like the second go-around. It is an animal. All things considered, it is an animal. But let's get into some figure comparisons with this Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition 
Batista figure. So for your Batista figure comparisons from left to right, we do have the Hall of Champions with an Ultimate Edition head sculpt added. We have the original, what this figure is already based off, the Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Batista here in white, which we did the comparison with the attire. You can see the repaint straight up. Then you have the Royal Rumble Elite, which is the exact same gear here, but also repainted. Same head sculpt and everything. This is, all three of these are the exact same gear, just re... Jesus. So all three of these figures are the exact same attire, just repainted differently. Red trunks with silver and black, blue trunks with black and silver, and white trunks with red and black. And then over here you have sort of your evolution style, Ruthless Aggression Era Elite Walmart exclusive Batista in the gold, maroon, and black, which... I also kind of relate with Batista. So lots of options here, but I like that it's different, right? You have like red all over these figures, and then you get a beautiful blue gear here to sort of put a nice bow on it all together. So that is great to see. You love to see that. One thing I have talked about, we need some sort of evolution pack, and preferably a four-pack evolution set in all of them in suits, or even the open collar without the tie look would be amazing to have, especially with those different suited bodies. You could make a lot of different things for the future with that. And that's one highly requested deal. And some more Ruthless Aggression Triple H's is what I'd like to see. But anything evolution related would, would pop me hard. Hopefully we'll see some at, at San Diego Comic-Con. But that does it for your Ultimate Edition Batista action figure collection comparison. But I think that about wraps up my WWE Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits Batista figure review. I like this a lot, but I gotta say I am a little bit biased because I did really enjoy the first go-around. And I would say if you missed out on that first go-around, this would also be a fantastic figure to purchase for your collection. The Ultimate Edition Batista is one of those figures that can actually pull off this hideous torso. I do not like it for pretty much anybody else. I mean, Batista is really, there's like a handful of guys and Batista is one of those guys, you know. And I think this is a great gear. They chose a great attire for Batista here. Love the accessories. I know it's just a straight up repaint, but if you missed out on that first Ultimate Edition, this is the one to purchase. And also, I'm one that feels that they don't make enough Ruthless Aggression Batistas. There's so many Batistas they can make and they have definitely done better ever since, you know, the Hall of Champions. Ever since the Hall of Champions. Champions, I would say they've done a pretty decent job. We've gotten, I think, four is what it is, four different Ruthless Aggression Elite or Ultimate Batistas, and I could say I could go for 20 more. I think there's so many looks they could do. He was, you know, the one of the, outside of John Cena, you could say the biggest star, the biggest star in the making of the Ruthless Aggression, of the Ruthless Aggression era. I know you have your Ortons and you have your Undertakers and Shawns who are already there, but in terms of raising to superstardom, Batista is right there at the pinnacle, and he is one that they need to make a lot of. I really like this figure a lot. It's a ton of fun to shoot, Batista being one of my... I mean, really, he's one of those guys that I, I hold in a really high regard. I would probably include him in my personal favorite, you know, top 15, 12 favorite wrestlers of all time. He might even crack the top 10. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to, you know, back it up a little bit and go through everything, but... He is up there for me personally. So all that to say, man, I really like this figure and I think you guys will too if you guys missed out on the first one. But even if you didn't, if you're a Batista fan, this is the one to grab. It is, it's beautiful. It just looks so good. Look at it in the arena. Look at the colorations. It looks amazing. But if you guys want to grab this, Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. A lot of stuff up for pre-order, a lot of stuff hitting. You guys know that San Diego Comic-Con season is upon us, so we're going to get a lot more pre-orders. That weekend of San Diego Comic-Con, that week, there's going to be so much shish that goes up for pre-order, so you want to be prepared. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% there, man. But, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, be sure to show some love to the video. Leave a like and let me know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members. Love each one of those guys over there, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so very much for the support, as always, like you guys do. You guys are absolutely incredible. Always giving those guys a shout. But I'm getting out, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.